What up, nerd gang? It's your boy, Hero Bishop. Today I'm checking out that Batman, the Dark, the Dark, the Dark, uh, 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 the Dark Knight Returns statue, one six scale, my bad, maquette by Tweeterhead. Man, I was looking for uh, a damn one fourth scale of this, but I couldn't really find one. Yeah. I gotta stay away from them 1-4 scales, man. It's hard, though. They cost a lot of money. But this 1-6 scale look pretty dope. So, uh, stay tuned. These action figures on my shelf, man. They drive the ladies crazy. Look, oh, I'm watching comic book movies so they wanna have my baby. Look, oh, look, oh. Pretty cool box. I like this lightning action going on. Batman the Dark Knight Returns on top. There was a uh, like muddy version, but I didn't get the muddy version. Tweeter head, same type of artwork on the side. You know what I'm saying? We got the same on this side. And uh, here's the uh, muddy version on the back which I did not get and not much on the bottom when you open it up see I already opened this to make sure it wasn't broke or anything got this right here uh, okay okay I like that uh, tweeter head bat girl might scoop that up speaking of bat girl did you guys see that suit for the bat girl movie Bro, it looks like a child's Halloween costume. I know it's based off one of the comic runs, but it don't even look like... I mean, they got the colors right on the damn costume, but it's very ill-fitting and... Uh, I don't know, man. It's kind of weird. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> anyway, that's a whole other thing. I did pre-open this like I do with a lot of shit, so... Taped it back up afterwards. So it'll be easy to get out. What do we got? What do we got? So we got the cape, which is a whole separate piece, but looks dope so far. Uh, I prefer the black and gray costume rather than the white and gray costume or the blue and gray costume but looks like they were going super comic accurate so that's cool I like that texture in there it looks kind of leathery nice sculpted wrinkles in it I like how there's some worn kind of spots in the blue to make it look you know like that old school hitter batman that was in the uh dark knight returns and I do like it. I like the length of it. It looks pretty long. So nothing else right there. Uh, I don't know what was right. Oh, yeah. I guess that's where the uh, head's supposed to go. Let's check out the head sculpt on this. Head sculpt's hitting, bro. I mean, the cow looks dope like the cape did nice little sculpted wrinkles in there little texture to make it look kind of leathery gotta love that tough face man scraped up teeth look good five o'clock shadows on point i love how it's squinting and very menacing looking that's a dope badass looking batman head scope scope sculpt <laughs> okay right here we got the the glove is on point wrinkles in there nice and worn looking Look like the dam I like that looks like the paint or whatever that was on there has been worn off through his battles and shit that's dope oh shit I almost dropped that if I drop it on the floor in here in the tattoo shop it might break for real that looks dope. Very nice. 
Nice attention to detail. Look at that. Even in the hands, dude. That's dope. Now the base. Civic piece right here. Batman Dark Knight Returns edition number 763 out of 1000. Tweeter head. Sick. Gotta love that. Got that body, man. Ah, oh, bro. This looks excellent. Super swole. Got the veins popping. It's dope as hell. Love that bat symbol. Really clean paint job. Little leathery pouches look dope. Love that. That could have been a little bit more yellow, though. Let's be honest. But dude, I love how they got the veins popping through. Nice sculpt on that mus musculature, super buff, big ass Batman, like we sh like like he should be for the Dark Knight Returns. Uh, I like the little dark paint variations that they got going on in there. They're barely there, but but they do well, well to add a lot of texture with that. Damn, this fool even got veins in his in his legs, dog. Look like he's wearing a cup. Nice detail on that. They're not tripping on the paint with this. Or the detail, man. This is uh, well worth the price tag, I think. I got this for a little under $300. I can't remember where from. Boots are on point, just like the rest of the suit. Super dope. He's going to pour it in here like this, but... I guess he only stands one way. That looks dope, man. I like that. This goes on top easily. Pretty clean. Uh, I think this uh, top of this cow could be a little bit more seamless, but uh, not really. I mean. It actually looks pretty realistic to be honest. I'll take that back. Head magnets in there, easy. That looks dope. Arms magnet poured in there, easy. And there it is. I think it's a great looking piece as it stands. Let's see how tall it is. So it stands at right about 12, almost 13 inches tall. Uh, I know it already said it was 1 6 scale, but I always like to give them a measure. You know what I'm saying? I mean, overall, to me, this is a super dope looking piece. I think it was well worth the money. And I would actually recommend picking that up, man. Uh, I don't know, man. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments below. Is there another Dark Knight Returns that you would pick up? Is this the one? Especially for the price point, I think it's good. But uh, let me know, man. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Much love and respect. Peace.